Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this realistic metal look in After Effects. So let's get started. Start with a new composition and I will call this placeholder. Full HD resolution, uh, 24 FPS and 10 second duration. Let's hit OK. Now uh, add your logo or text. I will go with text. Let's call this metal. And I will press Ctrl Alt Home on the keyboard. So it will center the anchor point. Use the align tool to center the text. Like that. Now create a new composition. And this will be our metal comp. Same setting. Hit OK. Now uh, drag and drop this placeholder here. And I will provide you guys with uh, three textures. You guys can download this with link in the description and let's drag and drop this reflection map here and I will press S to scale it down like this now go to windows effect and preset and search for motion type if you want to feel the background use this output width I will increase it and select this mirror edge now create a keyframe in the 0 second for the tile center now go to end of the comb and increase this until it reach uh, 3000 maybe something like this now select this layer right click pre-compose and I will select this move all attribute into the new composition let's call this reflection map hit ok now drop this layer below and set the track map to alpha mat. okay now you should have a text like this now create a new comp this will be our metal text texture same setting hit okay now drag and drop this uh, metal png by the way i uh, download this uh, texture from this polyhaven site you guys can check it out they have a great texture uh, hdri okay and i use the photoshop for the create a sketch text let's disable it for now and for the metal image i will use motion tile again and let's increase the output width value and output height like that so it will fill the background now uh, select the sketch text let's scale it down Now set the blend mood to add, so it will remove all the black values, okay? Now you should have something like this. Now go to metal comp and drag and drop this metal texture. We don't need to see it, so let's hide it. Now select this reflection map and go to effect and presets, uh, search for CC glass effect. Now go to surface and set the bump map to our placeholder. I will set the source to effect and mask and set the softness and height to 100 and displacement let's set to 0. Okay. Now search for CC Blobalize effect. Now open this up and go to Blob Layer and set the Blob Layer as our placeholder. Now uh, property I will give it Alpha and give the softness 3 let's reduce the cutaway value maybe let's give it 3 okay something like this i always use this technique to create a metal look in after effect it's quick and easy so now uh, let's start compound blur effect search for compound blur and make sure it in the uh, top of the stack Okay, now set the blur layer to uh, metal texture. As you can see, we already have uh, our texture. Now you can untick this stretch map to fit and tick this invert blur. And you can increase the value as well. I will go with 80. I will go with 80 or maybe 60. Something like this would be great. Now what about the depth, uh, we can add also a depth, so let's 
select these layers and right click pre-compose and I will call this 3d text okay make sure you use the move all attributes into a new composition hit ok now we can duplicate this one select this one press ctrl d to duplicate I will drop it down I will use the transparent panel so you guys can see it and now search for variable this is variable and I will go with type 2 uh, fade in zoom now increase the amount now also add a level effect go to channel set the channel to alpha now we can increase this black values as you can see now we have a 3d look you can play with the amount i will give it value like this maybe minus 15 this should work you can also increase the quality so it will remove those bands now you can add a fill effect and give it some black values like this you can also reduce the opacity okay now we have a depth like this 3d depth that's basically it for this effect i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i wish you guys in the next one